Hello, everybody! My name is Mathis, and welcome back to some more Dishonored 2! Oh, we, uh, we're just about to finish up this mission here. We've got only a couple things left to grab before we bounce. Um, one of which is a bone charm, and then, of course, we have ourselves a secret mission over there. And there wasn't there a shopkeeper? I swear... Is this the shopkeeper? Black market shopkeeper wants to pay... will pay you to find his missing associate. All right, let's deliver the the prototype and then see if that other mission is still around. I'm not quite sure why one of them is not available. Like I can't actually see it. I'm not I'm not 100% sure as to why that's the case. But we'll do what we can. Okay. Slow moving. Oh shit. Oh shit. Um um eh. That's fine. Shit shit shit. Hope it's not something bad. Maybe it's nothing. Nope. 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 We're fine. I got to get out of here. I I jumped over the wall and made a mistake and slipped in the process, but Nope. Alright, let's get out of here. Looks like we can turn off that. Let's, uh. Go back to the void, monster. Oh, God! Okay. That is incredibly powerful, actually. To be able to just teleport on top of them and uh, just <laughs> drop them like that, that is really powerful. Now, I don't know if I... I didn't check this in here before. Is there anything in here? Well, it seems like this is definitely, at the very least, something different. Um, I don't think there's anything in there that I can grab. But we can at least loot this place up a bit. Is that whale oil must be? Okay, yep, I've been here. And this is just gonna lead me out, but I can at least unblock it. Okay. Whoa. Alright. Relax. Weird noises. Hello? Alright, well, let's just leave. And we can kind of loot this way a bit. Yeah, I had a feeling. He looked like he had gotten hit by a trap there. Somebody's yawning. And then I've been up here. Alright. Got it. It's weird what I've explored and what I haven't. Like, I've explored bits and parts of buildings, but other ones I have completely ignored, it seems. We're just going to slowly move our way across, I think. Maybe taking out that light might not be a bad idea. Perfect. A bone charm in this building, I think.
Where is this bone charm? In this building? Oh, hey. Let's get up here. Is that just... I think that's just a civilian. Seems to be, anyway. Okay, this is what I needed. Right here. Someone on the prowl, huh? Just gonna, I'm just gonna rob you blind. Thanks. Oops. Sorry. Okay. Hello? Anybody here? Seems like we're good. Think we're gonna be all right. Just blink past him. See you later, everybody. Huh? Eh? What? Why are you hawing? Does it make any damn sense? I haven't done anything to be worthy of a huh. Good shit. Alright, there's our black market. It's everybody I murdered in the process of getting to the black market. Hey! Welcome, welcome. Welcome back. I see you found the prototype. Your acquaintance didn't make it. It is a risky line of work, I'm afraid, but let's not dwell. I expect you'll be interested in payment. First your finder's fee, of course, and if you like, I can draw up some schematics based on the prototype, something you can use to modify your tools. And as a token of my appreciation, a discount at the shop. A fair deal. So what did you give me for that? Welcome back. Let's take a look. Whoa! Take Ancient Howlbolt blinds enemies, causes uh, witches to flee. Blinds enemies, causes wolfhound to flee. Six new upgrades. Blinds enemies. Ancient Howlbolt. All right. I like that one. Let's do some upgrading, shall we? <laughs> See, I have some upgrade plans for your gear. Stinging bolt. Harden bolt. <clears throat> Faster reload may be valuable for me here. Mm, let's see. Here, um, we might as well upgrade our forward lens objects and then more bone charms. <laughs> Gives you an advantage. I haven't done lock sword. I think that's only happened to me once. Lock sword contest. Alright, that's... I don't really use stun mines very much. Howling ball? Sure. That's gonna lead to here. And I think I worry about the witches the most, so we'll take that. And then we'll get faster reload speed. No, sir, you do not need to wrap nothing for me, boo. Getting a discount. All right, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Now I gotta get the hell out of Dodge. Come on. Eh. Oh shit. There we go. Hey, I did it. 
so it's done. Yes, ma'am. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Corvo, there's something else. What? Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. You live long enough, that happens. Yeah. But what I did is worse than most. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret, Corvo. Whatever happened in Dunwall was a long time ago, Megan. I wish it felt like that. Seems like yesterday. Are you ready to leave now? What have you done, Megan? What have you done? Yes, let's I have go. an idea. Take me back to the dreadful whale. But I don't want to say too much. Another step toward the Duke of Sirkonos and Delilah. All right. I went straight down the assault path. <laughs> okay. I was never detected? Really? No. Really? Hostiles killed? Nine. Bodies detected? Nine. Yeah, it was not good. I was not good on this ep this level. I did not play well. But I got everything but one blueprint. And I got all the special actions done. So, I'll accept it. I'll accept it. I played aggressively. It got me through the level. I'm not proud, but it worked. Three years ago, Delilah was laying her plans. The Duke's people gathered at the home of a mine baron named Aramis Stilton to commit some horror in her name. I need to know how they made her immortal. But where was I three years ago? Letting Emily daydream through council meetings, teaching her fencing and back alley fighting. I always expected an enemy we could put down with a sword. Soldiers, spies, assassins. Instead we got something else, beyond the pale. Beyond the natural world, instead we got hit by someone like me. Well, that's a hell of a way to look at it. I like that wording. Like, my trophy collection is growing. We've got, like, a boat, that, and now we've got that sword. And I don't know why. I don't know what that does. All right, well, let's go ahead and write in our travel log. The seventh day. What is this? Uh, Delilah in the Void, Brianna Ashworth, curator of the Royal Conservatory. I don't think she's from Karnak originally. I've seen evidence of her visits to Jindosha's mansion. Sokolov confirmed that she's one of Delilah's lieutenants. I wonder if she kept, keeps the same sort of surprises up her sleeve. Sokolov heard conversation about a device being built under Ash to Ashworth's supervision. Yeah, we already know all that. All right. What happened three years ago? Brianna Ashworth and Delilah were infiltrating the minds of the Sisters of the Oracular Order, influencing the visions they send uh, to the High Overseer, and through him to, the, uh, to all the Abbey faithful across the Empire. But I put a stop to that. I must admit, I'm impressed by Delilah's delusions of grandeur. Is she dreaming of being worshipped the same way, uh, the way some occultists worship the outsider? I'm worried about what I'll find back in Dunwall. I hope Emily is all right. Anyway, Ashworth is no longer a witch. Her connection to the void, is mag uh, void magic is broken, and hopefully now Delilah's coven in Karnaka will be broken. I also learned that Ashworth organized some kind of seance for Delilah three years ago. I'm getting close to understanding Delilah's immortality. It happened in the manner of a mine baron named Ar uh, Aramis Stilton. I'll pay him a visit. Megan Foster admitted that she knew Brianna Ashworth from years back. Ashworth, who's been part of Delilah's coven of witches for a long time. I can't quite put it all together, but there's something. I've noticed Megan not look me, uh, won't look me in the eye. I want to trust her, and I'm grateful for her help. But do I really know anything about her? Can't sleep. My father died when I was so young, and I hated him for it. Of all things, a lumber accident. It seemed like such a fool. Oh, hiccup. It seems like such a foolish end. I could never forgive him. I hated him for leaving me without a father, as it was the most, uh, as it was the worst thing in the world. Now I know better. It's taken all this time to understand it is so much worse to lose a child. Emily, I am coming for you. No matter what, I will come for you. Good to know. So we're going to get one more thing, and that's going to be like our, our gathering. That's going to be like our trophy case all done. Oh, note from Megan. 
While you were resting up, I had the old man drop me off so I could check out the dust district. I'll meet you there and press along whatever I uh, pass along whatever I learn. Come find me when you're awake. Okay. Oop, she's gone. She left. My mind is finally clearing. Now I can return to my work here, helping those who need it the most. What can I say about what you've done for me? Save me from madness and worse, from giving in to a life of sadistic brutality. How could I ever repay you for that? Given who you are and what you're in Karnaka to do, I can only say good luck. The city, the country, the empire, everyone is counting on you. I'll send something special for you by way of courier. I hope it helps. Okay. So we knew she was going to be leaving soon anyway to try and help people and, you know, be a doctor and stuff. So I'm not surprised. You're not an old loon, Anton. You're not an old loon to me, sir. You're a great man. Is that me? You're painting me? I look good, I must admit. I need to know why Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first through a ruin created by the Duke where I used to live. Megan had an intriguing idea. Howlow is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy, and they'll treat you like family. So that gives me at least one way into Aramis Stilton's house. I'm pretty sure that will work. Coming back here, seeing it changed, run into the ground. Some people have reached beyond others. The old Batista neighborhoods, full of mining families, called the Dust District now. I knew plenty of people like Paolo growing up. Maybe not as crafty. Vice Overseer Burn. I dread each interaction with the Abbey. So I have to choose which one I'm gonna kill. Interesting. Well, this is an optional way. Where are you going? Okay. Where are you going, old man? What's that? It's me, sir. Ready now? All right, let's do it. Let's go. Get you as close as I can. The question is, which one do I kill? You must travel through the Dust District to Aramis Stilton's Manor, which contains more of Delilah's secrets. Vice Overseer and Burn and his religious followers are at war with Paolo, leader of the Howler Gang. Either Burn or Paolo will aid you for a favor. I didn't know Aramis Stilton. Who was he? Loyal to the old Duke. Stilton helped build modern Karnaka with those silver mines. Worked his way up from nothing to a fortified mansion. But the new Duke spends money so fast. The mine crews work all day and all night. The district's in ruins. The dust drives out anyone except the most desperate. The Duke of Sirkonos has made a mess of things. His father was a good man. True, but the new Duke's misery has only been possible with Dunwall's support. In any case, you'll have to pass through the dust district. Maybe Stilton's still in there, or maybe he's dead. Megan 
once you reach the dust district. I mean, I'll tell you more. I'll wait here with this skiff and take you back to the dreadful whale after you finish. I mean, according to the sign, old man, we're in the dust district. That's all, that's all I'm saying. All right. Hello? Windmill operation. Raw whalebone. You know what we should do real quick? Is uh, pop in some new bone charms. Because we have three more slots, baby! Alright. Albinos. Rat swarms include eh, blood flies, attack at slightly shorter distances. That doesn't really matter. Strong lungs, underwater, eh. Void armor. When you take damage, a significant portion is instead subtracted from mana. Oh, God, no. Enemy's initial range attack is transformed into blood flies. That's kind of cool. An enemy's initial range attack is initially is transformed into blood flies. A uh, far reach and blink consume no mana if used within a second. Solid landing. A uh, falling from a significant height creates a shockwave on impact affecting nearby enemies. That's cool. I want blood fly alchemy. I want solid landing because that's awesome. And then we got some corrupted ones. Uh, you deal greater damage with my sword. Eh. Fading light. Eh. When you take damage, a significant portion. Nah. So we can just take something regular. Spirit water. Yeah, we might as well take the thing that I can drink and heal up that way. It's a little bit safer, I guess. Oh, and there was a book, right? Yep. Windmill operation. Check sp uh, wind speed, windmill only turn wax wood. Okay, I don't care enough about windmill operations. I feel like it's not terribly important. Is that a door? No. All right. Let's take a look. Hello? She's actually right near the rune. Shit. Go to the dust district anymore. Orders from the Duke. We're losing too many. Good soldiers blinded by that hallucinogenic powder the howlers use. Then stabbed to death or dragged down by all these hounds. Keep alert, and I said. One young lieutenant got hit by an overseer grenade, and that was it. She was one of the Duke's distant cousins. All right, let's see if there's another way around. Not looking like it. Um, I might be able to pop up onto that, but probably not. Mm. Okay, really? Someone there? Well, this is not exactly ideal. I'm trying to see if there's maybe another way. It's not looking like there is. Alright. I feel like I'm missing an obvious, like stealthy area or stealthy approach but it doesn't seem like there's many other options for me here oh I think I'm stuck oh shit no no I was oh god oh god no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's like an invisible wall. That's fine. We'll just use this. They'll never know. No, no, no. God damn it. I was, <laughs> I was hoping there was going to be like another way around. Um, that I would be able to circulate around through, but that did not end up being the case. 
<clears throat> we'll try that again. I mean, we know that there's going to be guards here. Soldiers blinded by that hallucinogenic powder the howlers use, then stabbed to death or dragged down by the Abbey's hounds. One young lieutenant got hit by an overseer grenade, and that was it. Okay. She was one of the Duke's distant cousins or something. That's what we needed to do. Sneak by as they were blabbing. That won't happen until someone manages to get a hollow or vice overseer bird. Got money? No. To the crone's hand, or up to the temporary stronghold the Abbey's got set up. Okay, keep quiet and get high. Verticality is my friend. Pop that. Get rid of that candle. Not that I don't. Not that I think it's gonna help at all. Seeing that the darkness isn't as good. Stuck out here. Oop. Tired of cleaning silver dust out of my ear. We got a gentleman there. Grand Palace. That's a two. Sin. All apples and slippers. We could try to just hurl this off to Damn. the distance. In my sleep. <gasps> that sounded Probably like nothing but broken glass. Right well, I mean that and like fire happened. Whoa. A storm coming. Dust storm. Oh, damn. Can't see shit. Uh, this is kind of cool. Where did uh, the other guy go? Really? Somebody saw? Okay. So I don't know what that does, but I turned it off. Let's see if we can maybe knock this guy out. Get rid of them. Keep moving. Glad I got rid of him if there was a blueprint there. So where am I supposed to go? Where am I? I don't understand. Up and across? I might be able to port past him. Let's go ahead and drop a quick save here. I hear movement. Shockwave. I forgot about that. Sorry. It worked, though. It absolutely worked. It like knocked him out. I ported behind him. It counted as me falling a real far distance. I 
hear her talking. Okay. Hello? Who are you talking to? Stilton's home is just beyond here, but getting inside will take some effort. I've been doing reconnaissance, talking to people. The overseers and the howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the howlers and the overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you'd worked out a plan. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Burn, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them and bring him to the other. Got anything else? Burn is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers, but I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets, or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. Well, that sounds fucking awesome. And I want it. Right, I want to get down there and get that freaking rune. If possible. Good thing there's no, like, actual day-night cycle here. Beautiful. Alright, we're gonna wrap this episode up here. Say thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll tackle this mission next episode. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.